Welcome to Week in Whiskey for August 14th. I'm Jillian, the Ace of Hearts. And I'm Mike Gill, the Ace of Diamonds. This week at Whiskey Ace, we found a few stories that are sure to help you find your new favorite dram. Taking the term redefining a classic to a whole new level, Jim Murray is finishing up writing the Whiskey Bible 2011. I think I've got most of them. <laughs> in his eighth year of production, the Whiskey Bible provides reviews and tasting notes on all new whiskies released in the previous 12 months. Jim tackles the painstaking job of tasting over 1,000 new drinks, including single malts, grains, and blends. Jim says, quote, whiskey has become a lot sexier recently as more people are drinking it. I have traveled the world looking for the best one. The 2010 version was released on October 5th, 2009. There is no release date set yet for the 2011 edition. Sounds like a good read. Mm. But if you're not up for a lengthy read, uh, you can get Whiskey Info now on your iPhone or iPad. iStoles announced this week that they will be expanding their popular iMalts application to service iPads with their newest release, iMalts HD. The original iMalts, available as a cell phone application, launched in June last year and has had positive feedback from whiskey lovers. The application provides the user with the ability to keep a detailed log of their whiskey cabinet, details like place and date of purchase, cost, current market value, the date the bottle was opened, and how much of the whiskey is remaining are all possible to track on this application. iMalts HD will offer all of the same features as its predecessor, but with the ability to show larger size photos, giving the user better images of the details on each label. Love it. I was just saying, I just pulling the iPhone, whiskeyace.com <laughs> is have, on the iPhone. You'll have to get that then. <laughs> yeah, your I, will, I, I will, I will. <laughs> whiskey lovers traveling to Dubai will now be able to sample their favorite Diageo whiskey. For the first time ever in Dubai, airports will be allowing alcohol sampling. Wow. Diageo calls the new project the Mentorship Experience. This program will provide patrons with an opportunity to step inside a pod and try Johnny Walker whiskey and other premium Diageo brands. The Independent reported this story alongside, alongside news that some airports are opening their bars longer. Airports such as Chicago O'Hare and Las Vegas airports will soon feature the 24-hour liquor service and access to liquor in the baggage claim area. Very good. <laughs> Guess I have even more of a reason to travel now. <laughs> well, it's time to stock up on your favorite whiskeys. There may be a new price hike in the works. The reason? A wheat shortage. The Herald Scotland reports that bad weather and dropping investments have been pushing the price of many raw materials through the roof. In 1999, a bushel of wheat, wheat sold for $2.40. Last week, the same bushel was selling at $12, a 400% increase in eight years. Wow. Other increases have been seen in corn, soybeans, and barley. Making matters worse, Russia announced last week that it would no longer be exporting grain. There is concern in the market that these increases will lead to a spike in flour-related products, including whiskey. Wow. A few weeks ago, in uh, Week in Whiskey, we reported a surge in whiskey sales in Japan. Yes, I remember having to try to pronounce Japanese words. <laughs> now hosted news report that Japanese whiskey is starting to make an impact on other markets. Currently, Japanese whiskey only accounts for a small fraction of whiskey sales in the US, but whiskey producers like Suntory are working hard to change that. Last year, Suntory saw sales rise 6,000 cases after launching Ibiki brands in Europe and the US. They speculate that the coming year will be even better with an estimated sale of 8,000 cases of Ibiki overseas and 31,000 cases of Yamasaki. Wow. I think I did quite well. Japanese. I think you did pretty well in <laughs> Japanese this week. <laughs> and finally, Week in Whiskey is happy to report that the popular brand Glenlivet 12-year-old First Fill is the winner of three new awards. These new honors bring the brand's award count up to 12 since it launched in 2005. It's very impressive. The Moody Report says that the single malt whiskey has won its fourth gold medal at the International Wine and Spirit Competition, a gold medal at the 15th Annual International Spirits Challenge, and the top master's award this year at the Scotch Whiskey Masters Competition. The bottle was previously only available through World Duty Free, but is now sold throughout the channel. Robin Johnson, Regional Director for Global Travel Retail, says, quote, to also acquire such high praise at this year's prestigious ISC and TSWM awards when competing against leading brands from all over the world is an honor. It certainly is. Wow.
I don't suppose you've tried this one. No. No. See, <laughs> another reason to travel so we can go through the duty free and we can pick up some Centauri and some of this uh, new Glen Limit. Well, not new. UK for Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> if I can wait that long. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to see. And that's all your whiskey news this week. We hope that you'll join us again next week for your weekend whiskey news. And in the meantime, you can check out more of our videos on YouTube at Whiskey Ace One or on our website at whiskeyace.com. See you next week. Bye.